want to see Jordan Mason, says Danny Young. Let's talk about yes. Jordan Mason. Uh, it seems like he could play. He could be the number two back behind Jeff Wilson Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Jordan Mason is incredibly important this year. What do you think? They need Jordan Mason. And I know Jeff Wilson Jr. had a good game last game, but against the Bears, he looked bad. And maybe it's just the weather. Some some guys are better at running in the rain than others. Uh, I've noticed that. But um, Jeff Wilson Jr. right now, if you include both games, is at 3.9 yards per carry, which is not tremendous. Uh, the leading rusher on the team is Debo. They need a running back that can step up and, and do his thing. And I really, you know, from what we saw with Jordan Mason in the preseason, I just really want to see it because he looked amazing in the preseason. And if that translates the same way in the actual season, then you might have another potential star um, with Jordan Mason. So I really hope we get, he gets some, some touches so we can see what he looks like. Yeah. It seems to me that like, you know, um, Jimmy, Jimmy wants to cook, but this is never going to happen. And Kyle's going to stick to his guns and he wants to run the ball because he wants to be the star. And so the success of this team is always going to be dependent on the running back in 2019. No one ever taught. No one ever gives a running back credit. It's always Kyle. But in 2019, Raheem Mostert went off and the Niners rode him to the Super Bowl. They should probably could have rode him to a Super Bowl victory. But all of a sudden he stopped getting the ball uh, last year. They had Elijah Mitchell, who was not quite Mostert, but damn good. And they rode him very far, probably gave him way too many touches. Now, I mean, Jeff Wilson Jr. isn't going to be the guy that takes you to the Super Bowl. I'm sorry. I don't, we've seen Jeff. He's good, but he's like a, a, a change of pace guy. It ain't Ty Davis Price. Um, it can't be Debo. I mean, you can't give him that many carries. It, I think, it, I mean, Mitchell's coming back, but for, for now, it's got to be Mason or else the Niners are going to be struggling with their offense because it's a running back driven offense. Yeah, I mean, Elijah Mitchell had 6.8 yards per carry, which is fantastic, but he's hurt. So, yeah. you know, hopefully he comes back healthy and, and he's great. The leading yards per carry guy is Debo Samuel. But, yeah, I think we're going to talk about that more, why it can't be Debo. Um, and then, you know, Ty Tavis price was 2.4 yards per attempt, and Jeff Wilson is at 3.9 yards per attempt, which is not good enough. Uh, and, again, a lot of it might have to do with the Chicago Bears game. He was mm – -hmm thrown in there in the in the monsoon so we'll see maybe he'll get better he did better last week but i really think they need a strong running back um to even even when uh, elijah mitchell comes back they need to, to have to and elijah mitchell showing that he, you know he gets injured he runs so hard and he, he does get injured from time to time jordan mason is going to be huge you know maybe marlon mack can come back and be himself but based on what i saw in the preseason jordan mason looked awesome so i just want to see it play out in the actual game yeah, it, because if if Jeff Wilson Jr. Uh, struggles and Jordan Mason doesn't get an opportunity, um, it doesn't mean they're going to pass more. Most likely it just means that Debo is going to run more. And that's not what you want week three. He's already running too much. So Jordan Mason, that's – Kyle, let the running backs run the ball. Yeah. He got so clever the last couple of years. I mean, it's, it's funny. Like his story arc, he goes to Atlanta, has the greatest offense ever, blows 28-3 to because he can't run the ball with the lead. So what does he do now? He has an offense that's predicated on if you're on the field, you have to be running back. Everyone has to be running back. Oh, you play wide receiver? Yeah, but can you play running back too? He only likes gadget guys. And if you're a quarterback, well, just only for Trey. Anyway, wow, yeah, he's in a whole 180. Like now he's all about running the ball. In fact, he hates passing the ball. It's that weird. And the problem is when all you do is run the ball, if you come up against a team that is great at stopping the run, you're screwed. You have nothing. You're screwed. You have nothing. And that's – yeah, what happened in the playoffs last year. The Niners mm -hmm. offense was not there.